Hello everybody. This is going to be the part one of the next playthrough we're going to do, which is the Super Metroid Legend of Zelda Link to the Past Randomizer. Shows the intro to Super Metroid here. This time we got the sound on. There's the title for Super Metroid. We're going to start with Samus A. I pushed the wrong key, one second. Pretty sure I got the controller configuration right. I'll know once I start the game. We can go to special setting mode here. We can turn on Samus's moonwalk where you can walk backwards while shooting. It's not necessary, but I like having it on. Let's begin. Like I said in my intro video, it skips over the first levels for Super Metroid and Link to the Past. So we start off and we're playing as Samus on Zebes. I can't go this way. I can show off the wall jump, which Samus is already capable of doing. So you can get up here, but right now I don't think there's anything up here. Look around to see if I can find anything down here. There's a door with a green uh, door, which I can't open. Unlike Mushroom Kingdom Fusion, I don't need a key to open it. What I'm going to need are super missiles to open that door. As you can see, there's nothing of value over here. should probably let you know a bit more about the randomizer. I have not spoiled anything for myself by picking up any items or going to any item locations in either game. So this will be a, technically a blind playthrough of it, so I won't know where anything is. So we'll start by going through the first door here. And I can use the uh, left and right bumpers on the controller to shoot these enemies. There we go. There's some energy. I'll drop energy when I don't have full, and I can use that to restore Samus' health, which is the energy on the left there. I can find energy tanks that will increase that amount. So we're going to head down this way. This door leads into Hyrule, but right now Link has no equipment. So if I wanted to get items as Link, I'd have to go to places where I know I can run around without having to worry too much about not having a sword or any other items. I can't go this way because I don't have the, uh, the Maru Mari or the Morph Ball. So we'll head further down. Don't really need to shoot these enemies. That's good practice for getting used to the controller I'm using. It's a voyeur. It's kind of like a standard like PlayStation DualShock controller. But it'll work for this since it's kind of like a Super Nintendo controller. I configured it to play the game like I would if I were using a Super Nintendo controller. Shoot through these Abyssinian pirates. Once they're all dead, this door will open. Take the elevator down. The music is the same here, but you'll see this area will look pretty familiar to those who've played the original Metroid. This is where you would originally find the Morph Ball. And in Super Metroid, this is where it would be too, but you'll notice here, that's a piece of heart from Zelda. Sure enough, it says it's a heart piece. And obviously, Samus can't make use of this item. And I can't exactly uh, go out the way I came, so I have to wall jump out of there. So the Marumari sphere isn't there. So we'll keep going. Luckily, there's no way to actually get stuck in the game. The randomizer prevents you from getting soft-locked because you couldn't find a specific item you need to progress in the game. Like, there, I can't go to that door because I still don't have the ball that allows uh, Samus to morph into a ball and roll low to the ground. Watch out for this guy. Oh, he got stuck. I'll take advantage. <laughs> Alright. Looks like this is as far as Samus will be able to go. Haven't found any items, like, at all. Hmm. 
Well, I did find that heart piece, but that's not going to help Samus progress any further in Super Metroid. So looks like I have no choice but to pay a visit to Hyrule and see if uh, Link can find any items that will allow him or Samus to make progress. So I'll take the elevator back up and make my way back towards the door that leads to The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Alright, one, one uneventful climb later and we're back up here. Did I come through this door already? Yeah, it's an area I can't progress because without the Morph Ball I can't go that way. I believe up here is also blocked off to me. I'll avoid the Ripper. All the little uh, crawly guys. Yeah, and to get through here I need the bombs. So, yeah, Samus is pretty locked off from going to places right now. So, to Hyrule we go to try and rectify this. And you can see now I'm playing as Link and I'm in Hyrule. This is what Link starts with. Whatever items I found with Samus in Planet Zebes, right now it's just his standard green tunic and that one heart piece I found in place of the Marumari. I mentioned without equipment, Link can't really attack enemies, but that's not entirely true. Link can pick up bushes and throw them at enemies, as well as these signposts. So if I throw one, I can take out these enemies. Like the soldier here with the bow and arrow, I can take him out by throwing bushes at him. There's a Zora in the water. You might recognize it from the levels where I had to deal with them in Mushroom Kingdom Fusion. But now I gotta find some items. A single heart piece in Zebes isn't gonna get any progress for Samus. Can't really fight the uh, soldiers here. But I can kind of stealth around them. Let's see if I can slip by this guy. While he's looking away, I'll slip by him. He saw me, but I'll go into Link's house before he can catch me. Here, there's a chest. Usually this chest contains the lamp, but since this is a randomizer, it contains the heart container that I would have found in Sanctuary. <laughs> Normally that heart container is located in the Sanctuary where Link uh, delivers Zelda after rescuing her from Hyrule Castle. Speaking of Hyrule Castle, I say we go there now. The chests that you can find from rescuing Zelda from the castle can be found. And you technically don't need the sword or other items to get them. That guy dropped me a magic decanter that refilled all my magic meter. Of course, without any items, I can't really use my magic. So we'll take the secret passage down. Link's uncle is here, but he does... And I get the super missiles from him instead of a sword and shield. <laughs> super missiles would allow me to open that one door I saw in Unzebas. A green door near Samus's ship. This chest contains 20 rupees, which aren't all that helpful. At least not right now. Alright, let's try inside the castle itself. We'll throw bushes to take out the enemy soldier here. There we go, three of them will take him down. He did drop a heart for me, unfortunately, but I can go into the castle. We're gonna look through all the rooms of the castle where I know there are chests, because those chests could contain more useful items that will allow uh, me to progress. There are certain items in both Super Metroid and Link to the Past that you have to have in order to beat the game. Those are going to be key importance. One of those would be the bow and arrow for Link, for example. Without the bow, you won't be able to defeat many of the enemies in the game. That includes Ganon at the end. So we're going to go down these stairs and head into the dungeon area. Got a power bomb from that, that's for Samus. But to get to the next door, I have to defeat this soldier to get the key, and there's nothing in here to throw at him. So instead, we'll just go back up the stairs. Alright, I think we're done in the castle. I can't make progress I can't make progress through the castle without a sword or another weapon. So I'll just head through these doors and find my way out. I can't go into the secret passage, because the only way to open that is to have Zelda with you, and this game starts with Zelda already at the Sanctuary. Alright, 
Alright, so we're off to a bit of a slow start with no way to really progress. The gate's open now, so I can just walk out of the castle. Watch out for the red armored guy with the spears. Alright, now I gotta think. I have super missiles and power bombs as Samus, but those aren't gonna get me that far. At least, not right away. There's a few more areas I could try to find items in. One of those places would probably be Kakariko Village, if I can get there. I think I could. I gotta go this way. The swamp's also a possibility. I'm gonna throw the sign at the soldier here to get him. If I had bombs, there's a particular area I could go to to blast the wall, which would allow me some access to a place. I can't go swimming until I find Zora's flippers, so... Yeah, the water's no help. I can't get past those rocks until I have the power glove. The area up here, this leads into a fairy fountain. So if I need healing, I can drop in there and talk to the fairy and that'll heal me. This graveyard, I can push the graves, but until I have one of the uh, power glove or the titan's mitt, I can't access the treasures in the graveyard. Pushing these gravestones would just release Poe's into the air, and theirs are dangerous ghost-like enemies that I don't really have any means of defeating aside from throwing bushes at them. So we're gonna go into the sanctuary. This is where the sage and Zelda hang out. I can talk to them. I think I can talk to them. Or maybe not. Usually you can talk to them and they'll heal you, but let's open the chest here. It also contained a heart container. Maybe I'm wrong about how the heart containers work. Maybe instead of heart containers, bosses might have uh, specific items that I could get instead. So yeah, but I can't really defeat a boss as Link right now since I don't have any items. Other than hearts. <laughs> So let's try Kakariko Village. There's a couple areas in the village I can get some items. Just walk by the soldiers. Ooh, before I head into the Kakariko Village, there's one other item I can grab. If I go up this way, knock out this soldier, head up into the Lost Woods. And there's an item here in the Lost Woods you can find. Normally it would be a mushroom, which you would give to... There's also this area. Forgot about this. Go in here, I can get an item. Usually it's a heart piece. This time it's... Bombs, which will come in handy. So now I have uh, three bombs. Can I talk to him? Have you seen Andy? He was out looking for our prized ether medallion. I wonder when he'll be back. <laughs> Well, I don't know who Andy is, or where the ether medallion would be. There's a heart piece here. This normally would be the mushroom. Obviously, that doesn't help me too much. But I do have some bombs, which will help me in Kakariko Village, since now I can go get the chests over there. Watch out for the bird. And sometimes those birds will pursue you, and sometimes they fly away. Alright, the hunt for something I can use to... <laughs> to progress continues. <laughs> Kakariko Village is pretty safe. Randomizer, don't read me, go beat Ganon! <laughs> yeah, they change a lot of the messages you get from talking to people and reading signs and the like. She says, Hey, yeah, uh, long time no see. You want a Master Sword? Well, good luck with that. It occurs to me that I like toast and jam, but cheese and crackers is better. You like? I'll just say yes. Anywho, I have things to do. You see those two ovens? Yeah, two. Who has two ovens nowadays? <laughs> As you can see, the talking to people isn't too helpful. Obviously, that's not what she normally says when you talk to her. Some of the dialogue can be funny, though. I'm just some dude. This is Blind's Hut. <laughs> Blind's Hut has uh, chests in it that I can open for items. I'll start by putting a bomb there. That'll blast the wall there. There'll be another chest in there, but first let's get these chests. That's an energy tank for Samus. There's 20 rupees. 
missile upgrade. And more missiles for Samus. Well, Samus will have missiles and other useful things. <laughs> and there's another heart container in here, so that's more health for Link. See, I need a few more rupees and I can buy whatever the item is being sold in the by the shopkeeper here. Because there's a guy here that will normally sell you the empty bottle, but, well, he probably doesn't have the empty bottle. But it costs a hundred rupees, and I need uh, eight more to get it. So we'll drop into this cave. Okay, I think that was the morph ball, so now I can roll into a ball as Samus. I think that was Samus' uh, speed booster, so now I can run super fast as Samus. Got another heart piece. Another super missile for Samus. Use one of Link's bombs to get in this one, because there's another chest. There's ten arrows in this chest, which don't help Link all that much since I don't have the bow with him yet. Anyways, back into Kakariko Village. I think there's a few more houses and such I can look through. Alright, nothing in there. I could buy uh, whatever this guy's selling, so I'll talk to him. For 100 rupees, I bought another missile upgrade for Samus. Try this lady's house. Nothing in here. Yeah, don't talk to these people, the ones moving back and forth. If you do, they run into their houses and lock them, and then a soldier comes out and attacks you. The guy in here I can talk to, he says, I sure do have a lot of beds. Zora is a cheapskate and will try to sell you his trash for 500 rupees. <laughs> yeah, normally Zora sells you the flippers for 500 rupees, but in this randomizer it could be anything. So we'll try the back room here, which has another chest. Which contains another heart container. <laughs> yeah, Link's not doing too bad health-wise, he's already got seven hearts. Was there a chest in this other side? I can't remember. Nope, just some people to talk to. I got Wallmaster to help me move furniture. He was really handy. <laughs> I get it. Anyways, back to being serious and looking for whatever we need. I can get over here, and there's a spot over here, this empty building. I can bomb it open. In fact, I will. And I'll show you why. It uses up my last bomb, but I can get more bombs in here. Gotta watch out for the rats, though. I can take them out by throwing these jars at them. One of the rats dropped me ten arrows. Which, again, aren't very helpful to me, because I don't have the bow. But I got five more bombs out of here. Yeah, Link starts with the ability to carry up to ten bombs and thirty arrows. And again, I won't be able to use arrows until I have the bow, but I can use bombs. This is Christos's hut. He's out searching for a bow. <laughs> yeah, I can bomb the wall here. There's a lot of these cuckoo chickens in here, but there's a hidden chest if I bomb the wall here. Twenty more rupees. Still haven't found a sword for Link. If I could find a sword or another weapon, I could actually defeat enemies and make some progress that way. blacksmith's hut is over here. If I get the hammer and the magic powder, I can go down this well, and there's a... what normally is down there is an imp that will cut your magic use by half, which is helpful because it doubles your magic meter. There's a little maze game down here I can do, as well as this. I can go in here. You can see there's the power glove. To get it, I need the Pegasus shoes. I dash into the bookshelf and it'll come down from there. That will give Link the ability to pick up and throw the uh, rocks. There's 
another item I can get over here if I can do the maze game. I'm gonna blast the wall here with a bomb, which would be pretty easy to do. I don't have to talk to these guys, so we'll just pass by them. Talk to her, she says, you have 15 seconds, go, go, go! Then we just get through the maze by throwing these. Luckily, there's a shortcut through the maze. So even without the sword, it's pretty easy to solve. And I did it. Your time is zero minutes, nine seconds. Nice, you can have this trash! And this is the Ocarina. In fact, I could use the Ocarina right now. I'll show you what it's for. If I push the button, it plays a song, but right now it doesn't do anything. Since I'm near Kakariko Village, I can actually activate its actual use. So we're gonna go up this way. I think I gotta talk to the old man in the, uh, the bar over here. So we'll head over to him. Talk to this guy. Life, love, happiness, the question you should really ask is, was this generated by Stoops Alu or Stoops Jet? And I play the flute for him. You should play that for the weather vane, cause reasons. <laughs> so we'll go and follow the old man's advice. We're gonna go up here, we're gonna play the ocarina for the weather vane. bird appears. Now what this bird does, it'll give Link access to areas that I might not be able to reach without the use of the ocarina. So if I use it, the bird will come and pick me up. Go to the map screen and I can choose where I want to go. The first one will bring me into Death Mountain, which I think has a few th items I could find. The second area brings me to the potion shop near the East Palace. The third one brings you back to the weather vane in Kakariko Village. The fourth one will take Link back to his house. The fifth one takes me to an area south of where the East Palace is located. The sixth one will take me to a portal into Misery Mire near the Desert Palace. The seventh one will take me to where the Swamp Fountain is. And the eighth one brings me into the southeast corner of the map, where there's a few items and such to find. I think what I'll do is I'll, I'm gonna head to the, uh, back to Link's house. And we're gonna make our way down this way. Because there's a few more areas I can bomb. And now that I have a way to, to collect bombs for free back in Kakariko Village, I could take advantage of that. You can see here, there's the great fairy. Well done, let us have a cup of tea. <laughs> but yeah, when you find these rooms, the fairy in here will fully heal you. And nothing happened because I didn't take any damage, but that's useful to find if you're low on health and need a heal. Watch out for the guys with bows and arrows shooting at me, since I don't really have a means of fighting back yet. Next, we'll head into the fountain. I can get that treasure box here. That'll contain an item. It's the lantern. The lantern is a key item to win, because in the dark world, there are lots of areas that are completely dark, as you won't be able to see anything. With the lamp, you'll be able to light areas. It uses magic to use the lamp itself, which creates a fire that will light torches, which will light up the rooms. And if I pull the lever on the right here, that'll activate the water. And that'll give me access to another hidden item outside. Although it's only 20 rupees this time. Go ahead and take them. To the left I can get to the desert, which I'll probably go to, but first, let's go to the right. Watch out for the enemies. I got Octoroks over here. Watch out for those crabs, too. They can hit you pretty hard. Alright, we'll use the bomb here. Alright, 
there's enemies in here, but I don't really have any means of defeating them, do I? Not really. So I can't get in there yet. Not without more bombs. <laughs> Which is about the only means of attack I have right now. And I've only got one bomb. That wouldn't be enough to take out all three of those guys. Yeah, these uh, brown bushes, for whatever reason, do the same amount of damage as if you throw an object like a rock or a signpost. So they do more damage than green bushes. Then there's this thing, which doesn't do anything. It just blows up into little guys. Doesn't drop any items, doesn't do anything. I tried to figure out if there was some kind of secret to that thing, but there was not. I can get in this if I avoid the crab. Whoop. <laughs> I can bomb the wall here. Switch to the lamp since it used up my last bomb to get in here. This is where you can get the gold bee if you dash against this and use a net in a bottle. There's a chest in here, but I can't get to it. I think to get to it, I have to... I think I have to bomb a wall? Let me check. Yeah, I need another bomb. So we'll go back to get more bombs. I'm going to and grab some extra bombs so I can try and clear this room. And I'll start by playing the flute at them for no reason. Alright, throw the bomb down. Fly up there and get hit by the bomb. That's right, stay aggressive on me. There you go. Now one bomb will take them out, I just have to hit them. And not blast myself into the hole. Alright, throw the bomb over. There we go, got them both with that one. You stay over there, get blown up by this bomb. Now I can get in this room. It's got some chests, and if I think if I talk to this guy, he'll give me something. That's the Bombos Medallion, which I don't think I can even use yet. Nope. The reason I can't use it yet is I don't have a sword. You can see I got a reserve tank out of that chest. That's for Samus. Missiles. And another orb. I think that was the Moon Pearl, actually. The Moon Pearl will allow Link to enter the Dark World and still be able to use his items and equipment. So, finding that here is going to be pretty big. That means I won't have to look for it later. This means if I can access the Dark World, I'll be able to take advantage of that and actually do stuff there. Get my bombs ready. We're going to go back to the uh, area where that chest was and blast our way through the hole. That's a bee. I can just avoid it. If I have a net, I can catch the bee, and if I have a bottle, I can put it in the bottle and then sick it on other enemies by releasing it from the bottle. A rather unorthodox way of attacking enemies, but I don't have the net or bottles. Gotta watch out. Oh, that's not good. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get out of here because I'm dying. <laughs> Turn to Link's house. We're gonna head back into here. This is where the ferry was. Get in there. Get healed up. There we go. <laughs> yeah, those crabs, they hurt. They take two whole hearts off you and they hit you. Their pattern is they move slowly up and down, but they move really fast to the left and right. I'll use the flute to fly back here. And yeah, for some reason, the flute also carries you there when you choose spot number eight to where that weird balloon thing is. Alright, this time we'll avoid the crab. It only takes one hit to kill them, but I, again, I have no weapon other than my bombs. Dodge the crabs. Try to dodge them. Sometimes they get aggressive on you. Right, get in there quick. There we go. Now we can try the treasure chest in here and see if we get anything of value. More super missiles for Samus. Now you'll see here I have the moon pearl in uh, Link's items over there. Pick me up quick, I want out of here. <laughs> Crab took a cheap hit on me while I was trying to get the out of there with the flute. There's another uh, thing hidden there, but I can't get to it while I don't have the, the 
the power glove. So we're gonna heal up. This time we're gonna head towards the desert. Watch out for the bird. There we go. <laughs> Dodge another bird. There's another fairy fountain up there if I need healing. But for now, we're gonna head into the desert. These vultures will fly after you. Yeah. They fly in a circle, so you have to avoid them. Watch out for the bombs that are buried in the floor here. Head to this cave. And through here, we find. As an elder here, he says, I once had a fish dinner. I still remember it to this day. Again, such helpful information. We're gonna bomb the wall here, but below here. And inside, we'll find another chest with a random item. It's got the shield in it, so Link has a shield now. <laughs> still no sword. And that little uh, animation where I swing my arm doesn't do anything to enemies. So I do need a sword to fight. I'd have a shield to block uh, arrows and rocks and stuff. Alright, there's one more area I can think to explore before we head back to Super Metroid. And I lost my train of thought. Where was it? Let's get away from the Sandmen here. Alright, where was I gonna go? Ah yes, over here, the East Palace. I think this cave is a fairy fountain I can heal up. Well, it's playing the fairy fountain music. It's got regular fairies in it, but touching one will fully heal me. At least for now. They store, store seven hearts when you take a fairy, so... Since I have seven right now, touching a fairy would be a full heal. And watch out for the Arbo statues, as well as the soldiers. There's also a portal there to the Dark World, but I have no access to it because I don't have the tools to open it. So we're gonna head up this way. And that's a dead end. No help there. I think I have to go up. Watch out for the Octa Rock. Come on, get out of my way. I can block their shots with my shield. So head in here. I can talk to this guy. He says, want something for free? Go earn the green pendant in Ice Palace and I'll give you something. So yeah, the green pendant is one of the pendants of virtue you need to get the Master Sword. He just revealed that the green pendant is in the Ice Palace, which I cannot clear with my current equipment. I don't even think I can get to it with my current equipment since it's in the Dark World. Let's see, three more bombs, super missiles, ooh, and a weapon for Link, the magic hammer. So yeah, I don't have a sword, but I've got the hammer, and the hammer will... is actually a pretty decent weapon. It does uh, three units of damage, so like this guy normally takes like uh, three or four hits to kill, I can take about one hit with the hammer. So now Link has a weapon that I can use to fight. That's an interesting looking knight. He's wearing like a gold armor. I've never seen that before. Let's go ahead and hammer him. Yeah, you can see I can defeat the enemies now using Link's hammer. Actually, instead of going back to Super Metroid, I should head back to the castle. I can finally complete the rest of the dungeon area where Zelda was originally supposed to be. Yeah, remember this room with this guy that I couldn't defeat before? Now I have the magic hammer. I can defeat him. Yeah, it's called a magic hammer, even though there's nothing really all that magical about it, it's just a hammer. This item you normally find in the Dark World, in the Dark Palace, the first uh, level you go through, like the first dungeon of that area. It's a pretty handy tool, not only can I defeat enemies with it, but if there are certain stakes in the ground, I can hit them, and that will push them down into the floor, which will give me access to other areas, as well as secret passages and the like. So we're going to make our way back through Hyrule Castle here. Back towards the dungeon where Zelda was originally held prisoner in the intro. 
the reason we're doing that is because there's a treasure chest in the room to my right, as well as in the room itself where Zelda was being held prisoner. You get the key by hitting this guy with the hammer. Got some missiles out of the chest where the boomerang is normally found. Now we head down the stairs. This is the dungeon area where Zelda normally was beheld in the cell. The treasure chest that is in her cell is still here, and I'm gonna want that. Use the jars to take out the ball and chain trooper, since I'm gonna need his big key anyway. That'll give me access to areas later on in Hyrule Castle that I can't access yet. It was all worth it to come down here to get one rupee. <laughs> well, that was uh, no help. So let's make our way out of the castle again and back to Planet Zebes. So to wrap up, we're going to head back into this fortune teller's hut, which it normally is what it is, only now it leads back into the criteria area of Planet Zebes from Super Metroid. See, so yeah, I've switched the control back over to Samus, and if I go to my stats menu here, I can show off that Samus now has the morphing ball and the high jump boots. You also see I have 25 missiles, 20 super missiles, and 5 power bombs. Those are all the items Link found for Samus during my search for items in Hyrule. I also have the energy tank and the reserve tank, so I have a bit more energy to work with. I can access this save room now that I have the morphing ball. So we're going to step over here, we're going to save the game. And we're going to be done for now. In the next part, we'll search some more of Planet Zebas now that we have the morphing ball and some upgrades for Samus, and we'll check out what we can find. Maybe we can find a sword for Link, huh? So, yes, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.